Oh, there's some snow coming and it's 13 degrees. Still gonna ride. Hey, what's going on everybody? So this video is long overdue. I did a review of my LaPera aviator seat and oh, there's some snowflakes. Should be a fun ride. So yeah, I did a review of my LaPera aviator seat and in that review, one of the very first subscribers to my channel, Jim Mancy, he requested a review of my Memphis Shades Del Rey windshield. And I recorded it shortly before that actually. And I planned on uploading it sometime in early January. But I didn't really like the quality of that video. So I'm going to re-record it today and hopefully be very informative. So before I get too much into the review, I'm gonna tell you why I chose this over any other shield. So the main reason is because of the, the trigger lock mechanism that Memphis Shades uses. It makes it possible for me to install and uninstall the windshield within seconds. It's amazing. There are other shields out there with quick release mechanisms, but none as good as this one. And what's really great about this is this mechanism here, the mounting brackets here, which were really easy to mount. It has some grooves right there to connect the left and right side to, and it's just an Allen key to tighten them up. It took some adjusting, probably took me about 45 minutes to adjust it properly, but it wasn't a challenge at all. But the beauty of this is the mount here is bike specific. So if I want to put on some type of fairing or another windshield, I can use this uh, and just get different mounting plates that are associated with the shields or with the fairing. And I may get a fairing, I think, just to give her a try. So I'll go, I'll go ahead and show you how I mount this. There's these latches here. I take the bottom part, put it into the groove, make sure my cables are out of the way, push it back, I hold the center, push it down, make sure it's locked into place. Same on the other side, and boom, Bob's your uncle. So that's how it looks on the motorcycle. Look at these snowflakes fly. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they're flying. So there's just a few things about the shields. The Delray is the smallest shield in Memphis Shades line. It measures 15 inches across from the headlight, the top of the headlight, to the top of the shield, it's 13 inches. The gradient here, there's five different options. I wanted something really low key, really not very visible, but I did want a gradient. There's five other colors that you can get. The shield itself is made out of Lucite, and that's the name brand of a polyplastic. Most others have heard of the more common name brand, plexiglass. But it's strong, and it holds tight, and I'm not too worried about damage. I've had bugs hit this at 70 miles an hour. The mounting parts, they're made out of aluminum, so they're not going to rust on you. Uh, I talked a bit about this, but these, uh, these mounts here allow you to adjust it to what you want. If your cables are routed a little differently, or if your bike makes modifications where you need to modify it, you can adjust these forward, backwards, and up and down to fit your bike. So let's go ride, even though it's starting to snow got a couple inches in the weather report coming. I expected it to start snowing a little bit later than, than now, but it's not snowing that badly. So we'll just go out for a short ride. I've said it in other videos, if you're a new rider, don't follow my lead and ride in these conditions if you're not ready for it. Definitely get some mileage under your belt. Basically, if you're skittish, riding in adverse conditions where your tires aren't going to warm up, wait till you get more skills. So other reasons I selected the Del Rey. So the two main reasons over another shield, the trigger lock mechanism and how low key it looks on the bike. To be quite honest with you, I didn't really want to get a shield because I, I knew I wasn't going to like the way it's going to look on the bike. And quite honestly, I don't really like the way it looks on the bike. I've, I've grown into it more, 
but I prefer to not ride with it. Why do I have it on there, you're probably asking. One reason is it's the perfect height to force wind off my chest without having it on to over my head. And during the summer, that's not a huge deal. Short rides, I'm not gonna be using this shield. But when it's cold out like this, right now it's 12 degrees, when it's cold out like this, I want that cold air off my body and over my head. That's the best part about having this shield is keeping warmer on the bike in colder days. I've said it in a lot of other videos. I'd much rather ride in the cold weather with this dork shield on my bike than not ride at all. Another reason I got it is because while I predominantly ride my Harley Iron 883 in the city, the bike is it's just designed for that. I do like to take longer rides. My parents live about 100 miles north of here and having a shield on here to to make, and having a shield on here to pull the wind off of me is really helpful. I won't get as fatigued on some of those longer rides if the wind's going over my head. Believe me, I've taken probably four or five rides north to my parents' house. It takes me, I take some back roads, so it takes me about three hours, two and a half if I'm feeling uh, frisky. And I feel much less fatigued if I've got the shield on. So I've been riding cold weather now, probably since mid-October, late October here. I'm just gonna pay attention to these cars a second. So yeah, I've been riding in cold weather since mid to late October. There's been a few warm days in there, but for the most part, it's been cold weather. And this shield has been on the entire time. I've taken it off once or twice. Sometime in November when it was warm out, and another day in December when it was warm out. But for the most part, I've had it on this bike, and it's, it's kept me riding during these winter months. So a bit more about the shield itself. The trigger lock mechanism and mounting brackets they're sold separately from the shield itself. And each one of these is shield specific. These are bike, the mounting brackets are bike specific. So the shield itself, the, the Lucite part of it was 75 bucks. And the trigger mechanism was another 75 or $80. The 150 or 155 that I paid for the combination, such a small price to pay for the immense benefits I'm getting, staying warmer on the bike and keeping the wind off my chest and over my head. And probably before spring hits, I'd like to kind of try some fairing, something a little bit more low key than the shield, just to see how it plays out over the shield. There's some ski trails back here, cross country ski trails, and they make snow during the winter for this cross country skiers. It's kind of cool. But I'm stopping here because I kind of want to show you the shield from a distance. What's really nice about this shield is that it's really, it's really subdued. It really fits in with the lines of the bike. So it's kind of hard to notice from a distance. Most cars, most people driving cars won't see it. Ah, I'm so glad I can ride this during this cold weather. So there's a shield and I'll walk away a little bit. And you notice, the further I get from the bike, it's really hard to tell that I have a shield on there. <laughs> I suppose pointing the camera straight at the LED lights, not, not wise for you to be able to see it. I mean, right now I'm focused on it, so I notice it. <laughs> it's really cool that they're making snow over there. So it's 12 degrees. My hands are staying nice and warm. I got a, another video talking about fly igniters. Go ahead and check that out if you're interested in riding in cold weather like I do. Straighten this wheel out so you can see that there. But yeah, it's harder to see. It's really low key, really subdued, which I kind of dig. 
How many Harley YouTube videos do you see out there where people are making snow in the background? <laughs> I'm glad I could give you guys a treat here. I almost don't want to head back. So the pin lock on this helmet, it works great, except for in really cold weather. It just does not work at all. So that's why I got my face shield open if you're wondering. Man, they're making a ton of snow. That's pretty cool. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you learned something, gained some information on the Del Rey. If you have learned something or you like this video, go and click on that like button. If you're new here, go and click on that subscribe button. I'm going to have a lot of really great videos coming up. I'm going to have more on the Harley IR883, but I'm also going to be doing a Cafe Racer build. And I'm going to start that in a couple weeks. So go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Click on that bell icon if you want to be alerted when videos are uploaded. As always, stay safe out there. Keep your wheels rolling in the right direction. Thanks for watching, everybody.